hello friends in this video we are going to add this logo via dynamic things so for getting this logo right now that we need to replace the default magento logo with our logo and the same with the sidebar of the magento admin so we will replace that logo we are going to build extension for that so let's begin this how we can build the extension for that okay so first of all Let's check. Uh, first of all, we need to create the system.xml file for uh, uploading the logo. So let's build the system.xml file. So let's go to my directory, code, app coders, profit. And first of all, we need to create the etc admin.html that we have to create the system.xml file. <coughs> Here I have defining the image field, image okay we type we need to find the image again i will add one more image tab for the logo replacement so i'm going to add this again because i need the two image section for one for the magento admin login and one for the sidebar so here i i make it one image one and here type image default is this shown in the store so image one the same logic and here it will save into this part type media and okay so that is for the image image section we will create two image section for that let's uh, run the compile let's run the this is one thing let's move to the our next part that is called how we can make the logo Go to the app design admin admin front end back uh, back end layout we have admin login and we have default login so let's edit this part also here we have passing the images okay so here we need to pass the argument like this where is default.xml here it is argument argument name is logo image source type helper and uh, we are going to add profit plus products get logo image okay get logo image one so let's bring it this part get logo image one now we are going to create this in product section where is helper data go to the app Code, orders, profit, helper, products, data. Let's go to the bottom and create the same thing. So it will return from the pub media get logo image one. Okay. So I have added this part. Let's save it and run the commands. Just run this. Great. It moves to our code. Upgrade. I need to check the PHP my admin. PHP my admin and where is Magento twenty six? There it is. Magento Magento two six. Let's go to the core config data. Command is built. Let's run another command deployment. Deployment. Let's put here also.
this is done let's log in let's go to the login of magento so here the at logo is not showing because i have already changed the path of that logo and we are going to make it dynamic like showing that uh, images over here so let's go to the dashboard here the logo is not visible so we are going to make it dynamic so go to my stores configuration here i have created the configuration file store image i have already put and store image i will going to add one logo zte okay i'm going to open and save this configuration the configuration is safe both logos are over here okay let's flush the cache so the cache is flushed and the images are already uploaded so let's check where the image path is stored in the system configuration file let's go to the php my admin and check i'm going to reload this section because we have uploaded right now so let's move to that in the last and uh, <coughs> how it is saved default this default is custom settings journal image in image one so we need to fetch this one so let's fetch fetch this part and make it dynamic so let's go to the module <coughs> profit plus let's make one module i have already written in my previous folder uh, helper helper we have data.php i'm going to fetch with the configuration this is how we can going to fetch the configuration so let's go to the products.php file and we will declare this section okay so let's declare this section xml path so let's make it enable disable what is the enable disable formula of that from settings general settings enable or disable so it will go over here custom settings enable and disable less custom settings for uh, image so here is for image and next one is for uh, image one here i'm putting image one here we go for the login login here we go for the sidebar <coughs> these two things we need to push let's go to the how we can call it so you need to just do this one go to the product section interface xml path uh, we need to sidebar over here because it's last sidebar okay so it will return the, into the uh, logo because it will return the logo path so i'll put the logo over here and pub media i have already added but here it's not getting the full url i guess it's only default so so i think the app footers and background image i guess we need to put static so let's where the image are stored app footers app footers magento media media we have renamed this we need to add this part app footers go to this logo is there path is there and we need to <coughs> it will give the pub media url then we need to concatenate with the app folder slash backend image slash backend image so we need to get this url from there 
back end image so I will add back end image it's magic back end image it's app folders back end image then it will concatenate logo by this so this is how we are achieving this part so it is done to remove this logo hope it will work same thing we need to do with the sidebar and then we need to trip this with the with logo this one so here we need to put also the sidebar it's login login path and the same thing it will retrieve with this one so this is how we achieve this part let's uh, i think we don't need to compile just flush the cache flush the cache and uh, use this permissions okay so let's uh, rerun this part with this dashboard the images are showing or not let's see Undefined property it says scope config okay scope config is not defined so let's define it scope config where is data scope config it's not defined why it's not defined scope config let's go to the product and define the scope config scope config after that we have data let's move to the scope config this part also scope config is now added let's rerun the compile command and do the process it is compiled Compile then we will use the grade. Now run this upgrade command. Now this is all done. Let's check this issue is all or not.
still the image is not showing let's check what the url is for me default background image so what is where is the issue i think its path is correct i guess let's check the open link in a new tab you cannot resolve the path pop static <coughs> admin html theme oh it's multiplying this url why right? because the path is with this one url so we need to check why this path is not forming and why it's appending okay so it's appending at that moment maybe the let's check the default products dot uh, exact xml if it get the base you were in what is the path it is pub yeah so we don't need to get the base you were in let's go through and get the base you will need to frame the url type media so i thought it is returning the pub static version admin html version to 26 pub media admin html pub static admin html because it is edit as html so what the path it is admin theme this 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 slash this 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 in the link <coughs> we get the base url let's check how we can get the base url base url yes we have already used this but i don't think so where we are doing the wrong This is the same one that we're using media URL. Or we can just get the <coughs> base URL and then we can do something, I guess. This is store manager gets space URL. Let's, let's check whether it is working. We have written store manager it store it base URL magento framework URL interface URL type media it's the same one I guess the same part oh, store mask open fill with this URL means that this base URL is returning the If I just uh, get only the base URL, let's check how we are getting the base URL or not. So, what what is the exactly URL is? Pub Media. So, I think I should do something over here. I got the store manager, so this is a store manager. Store manager. So we get the get store get base URL. If I try to replace with this base URL, base URL dot app folders, so it will work like this. Let's check. So it will return with the <coughs> so let's check whether it is showing or not. It 
do the deployment once more. Time. So data we have already saved. It's saved. Just we need to manipulate with the path. Why it's not showing the short path? So URL type is already we making the URL type uh, type that means the images is not found. Still, this is back in the image it is showing. It's local host Magento 2. Okay. And after that, Magento 2 it is shown. Stores open. Okay, this is okay. <coughs> now check what is the store scope. This is similar path. Let's check the logo. URL okay then we have a base URL we have pop yeah slash app orders base URL is um, base URL how we get base URL is it slash or not Well, let's check the static version, right? Oh, I can come to remove it. Let's check, otherwise, it's not. Coming out the front end, so we are doing something. I'm still on the scene, so maybe the path has the issue. Why it showing the pub static version?
so we will discuss this part like why the image is not showing we will discuss this in the next video i think the video is going to be long so i, I will check for my side then i will update on the next part video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day